hey guys, um, I'm, to start off with, I'm ill, so if my voice, um, sounds weird, that's why, um, and if I suddenly start coughing or sneezing or voice cracking at any time, or going <laughs> really loudly into the microphone, I apologise, um, and, and, and sniffing, because I'm congested, but it's like, you know, I just have a really bad head cold, okay, so all of the horrible sounds that may come out of me unannounced at any given time during this stream, I apologise for them in advance, you've been warned, and I also need to have a slab for my drink. Pardon me. That's another sound that might come out of me. Because I need to keep hydrated and I have fizzy water, so. Okay, so. Okay, I can't talk that loud. <laughs> um, so I am doing the Asylum Challenge, obviously. Um, and I am going to be, just for the first episode, mostly like, taking you through what sims are going to be in my asylum, what my asylum looks like, and then uh, we might do some like initial starting point stuff if I get through all of that quick enough, but this is just kind of the introduction episode. Um, so, this is me, this is the insane me, I've done creative and music lover because I think if I were to pick any two traits out of all of the traits, you know, these two were closely tied with nerd, but my I thought I'd pick the painter aspiration because the pattern with a lot of asylum challenges seems to be like, that's one of the first steps to trying to get more money into the house anyway. So I thought if I'm going to have to do a load of painting, I might as well make it my fucking first aspiration. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, and also I'm doing this on um, medium difficulty. So, sorry, if you hear rustling of paper, that's me fucking looking at the rules. <laughs> Reminding myself of what I, all of the work that I've just put into this and why I've just put it in. And then, you know, then the fun can start. <laughs> so, yeah, so I have to do three aspirations. I haven't decided what my second and third ones are going to be. But the first one's going to be Painter. So, this is me. This is a real. This is me. I mean, it's not quite. But, you know. So. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, I'm so dehydrated. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I need another drink. Pardon me. Oh. So many burps. So little fucks to give. I just don't care when I'm ill, you know? It's like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Burping is the least of my problems right now. Okay, so. That's my main sim. And she is, you know, set to all the specifications that you have to set your first sim up. She doesn't have any of the not allowed aspirations, etc, etc, etc. Oh look, there's a Twitch glitch. Sorry, I've got the like the stream on my phone. Like, so I can make sure there are no like m actual fuck ups, but I just looked at it to check <laughs> there's just a little Twitch glitch. Anyway. Um, I really need to stop getting distracted. Oh, my brain is just so full of illness. Okay, so this is my second sim. She is Monica Lee. And she is an obsessive compulsive cleaner. And klepto. <laughs> because I thought things that go with, like, of the traits you can choose for your sims. The ones that seem the most, like... I wanted an obsessive compulsive sim, and I thought, well, the things that, out of the traits that generally you are the first things you think of when you think of obsessive compulsions are cleaning and kleptomania. Um, 
again, you know, there are loads of different things, but going from the small group of things that you can choose for your sims, those were the two I thought of. So I was like, okay. So she tidies shit up. And while she's tidying, she'll just, she'll nick a couple of things from people. At every opportunity, she just has to clean and steal. Um, so yeah, I decided she wants to be public enemy, because why not? You know, she's, she's not stupid. She just has a compulsion. So, and she's clearly past the point of caring, if you couldn't tell by her badass outfit and tattoos. So... <laughs> She's like, yeah, fuck it, I'll just use this to my advantage and that'll be my aspiration. I'll just be a master thief. Um, but yeah, so that's Monica. And then I thought I'd put a vampire in. So this is Heath Ferguson. And he is, um, well, a vampire, obviously. But his backstory is that his family drove him insane um and by like trying to make him like trying to force him to be evil he comes from a very dark evil vampire family and they forced him or tried to force him to be evil and he didn't want to be he wanted to be a good vampire so yeah, and they tried harder and harder and harder and harder and did more and more evil things to try and condition him. And eventually he went insane and is now in the asylum. Um, and his aspiration is vampire family, which I think is allowed for the sims that aren't your active sim. Hang on, I just got to double check. Yeah, the other two traits and their aspirations can be whatever you want. Yeah, okay. I just had to double check because I know that the family, big happy family and successful lineage ones aren't allowed for your main sim, the one you're actually playing, your active sim. Um, I just had to check if it was allowed for the other ones, but yes, it is. Um, so yeah. So he wants to have a good vampire family. He wants to have a loving strong supportive that he wants to start sorry a loving strong supportive vampire family so he wants to you know turn someone he wants to find a human that he falls in love with he's got forever to look so that's fine but when he finds the right human to fall in love with that looks around his age if you get what i mean so that it's kind of acceptable <laughs> That you can't even tell that I'm like put, doing the whole bunny ears things in the air, but I was. <laughs> but um, yeah. So he wants to find a nice girl one day and then turn her, and then they can start a beautiful vampire family together. So that is his story. Then we have Brianna Richardson. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and she is. She's kind of like the insane compulsive eating female version of Gordon Ramsay in a way but for different reasons so she she has an eating disorder she's a compulsive eater um and she's trying really hard to like she's tried so hard she's like she wants what her way of how she wants to cope with her eating disorder is to cook for other people to make other people eat the food so she can still you know then then she she don't she doesn't feel as bad she'll be eating with other people it'll be you know decent portions everyone would get the same size portion which forces her to eat normally that's her theory however in doing that her brain is telling her she needs more food than she's getting, which is stressing her out. Then she's trying to please other people's dietary needs and preferences, which is stressing her out more and has made her hot-headed and a little bit insane. Because she's, you know, she's constantly got this voice in her head telling her she needs to, like, keep eating and keep eating. And she's like, the other voice in her head is just like, fucking stop. So, you know, it's, it's kind of a... a a chain reaction of stress 
Um, so she that's how she's kind of a female Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen, but with the added compulsive eating thing that she's, you know. So yeah, that is her. Um, pardon me, that was a little warp. Uh, okay, and then I have my little alien child who isn't loading. There we go. So that's her in alien form. And then I would have showed you um, Heath's normal form or vamp oh, vampire form, sorry. Um, but there isn't really much difference. I pretty much dressed in the same. But that's this is this is my my little Venus. She's adorable, and I love her, and I love her colours. I just decided that I was going to make her all, like, pastel unicorn colours, because why the heck not? <laughs> just because I thought it went it went nicely with her skin tone. Um, I was looking at the more pastel skin tones, because I don't want her to look like an in-your-face, you know, intimidating or scary alien. I wanted her to be, like, a sweet alien, because her backstory is that she got captured and taken to a experimental like testing facility like an area 51 kind of thing um and she got you know experimented on tortured essentially for science again the bunny is sorry the bunny i need to start saying bunny is for science um, and yeah, they basically, they didn't treat her very well at all. And, um, she was lucky to get out alive because, uh, one of the next steps before, you know, she escaped, which is what pushed her to try so hard to escape because she's a very shy and, you know, sweet alien. She's not, she doesn't really like confrontation, but it was escape or die because the next step was going to be dissection. So she escaped just in time and she is, you know, she's, she got driven a little bit mad by um, all of the experimenting and essentially torturing that she went through. But she wants to be a nerd brain because she wants to learn everything she can about this world because she wants to find some beauty in humanity. Her first experience with humanity was terrible and she wants to, you know, learn as much as she can about our world so that she can kind of reassure herself that not everyone is like that and, like, you know, there's some good here. Don't we all want to reassure ourselves of that, especially lately? So I was like, yeah. Um, she's also a genius because, you know, I mean, she's an alien. She made it all the way to Earth on her own. So she's clearly a smart girl. Um, and she's neat because she's nice and she's shy and she's tidy and she, you know, she wants to clean shit. So we got two neat people in this house, I've realised. Um, I could change that to good actually i might change that to good i can't change that to good right now i might change that to good later on i haven't got the um full edit mode on right now um but i might change that to good later i'm not sure okay so next so so far we've mostly got you know nice ish people i mean monica's not very nice but at least she's gonna clean she's gonna steal your stuff while she does it but at least she's gonna clean the next person I have broken a a tiny, tiny, tiny rule, and it's the only one I've broken, but this person and the one after are from one of the first households I made in Sims 4, and I fell in love with them, and I was like, I, I, I have to keep them as sisters, so they're twin sisters. So here's Aurora Moonbeam, uh, which is my alternate name on Facebook, <laughs> it's my um, quote unquote witchy name. Um, is Aurora Moonbeam, so she is Aurora Moonbeam, and I'm not saying I'm an evil witch, I'm just, I needed names for three, I, I did a household that was three different versions of me, there was a normal version of me, and then it was like my little devil and angel on my shoulder, so there was like a devil me and an angel me, and we were all like triplets in the house, so that's, that's where she comes from, I only added two of them because I'd already created a version of me for the asylum. I didn't think about it until I was halfway through that I wanted to add them in. 
Um, so this is the devil on my shoulder, basically. Um, I haven't made them my siblings in the asylum. Um, I've just made these two siblings. Um, which, like I said, breaking a little bit of the rule, because none of them are supposed to be related. But... It, it, it's just it's just a little it's just a little rule and I don't think it's that important so I'm breaking it it's just a little bit I'm just bending it well I, I mean I broke it it's not bent it's broken but it's not like I've made them all siblings I've just made two of them siblings so get the fuck over it um <laughs> but yeah so she is the devil on my shoulder she's got her studded shoes her leather pants her crop top she is buff she has got some intimidating makeup she has i mean really she has my my miley cyrus hair <laughs> but it's because it's the there i didn't have any devil horns and i was like eh, i'll just choose a hair that looks kind of like devil horns um so there's that i'm not quite sure why i didn't give her any tattoos um i don't know Maybe I just didn't really feel like it at the time. Maybe I just wanted to give her more of a, like, I don't know. Can't answer that question. I created her quite a long time ago, so I don't really remember why I didn't give her tattoos. Maybe I was just trying to be like, just because you're evil doesn't mean you have to have tattoos. Maybe I was trying to have that standpoint. I don't remember. That was probably what it was, to be fair. Maybe I was, like, having one of those days where I was telling myself off for conforming to stereotypes and didn't give her tattoos as, to make a point. I'm not sure. <laughs> Genuinely not sure. But, um, so she wants to be public enemy as well. She wants to be a massive criminal mastermind, which is why I'm probably going to give her and Monica, going to have them to be the ones with jobs, or maybe, I'm not sure. Because in medium mode, you can only have two people with jobs. So, eh, I don't know. Um, but yeah. So, she's insane and she is an evil genius. So, she would make a very good public enemy. She's got all the right traits. She's just... She is just the devil incarnate. With abs. Um, and this, this is her sister, Fallen Angel. Which is the name of my business is Fallen Angel Crafts because one of my nicknames used to be Fallen Angel um so I named my business after that <laughs> and then I named my sim after one of my sims after that so she's the angel on my shoulder and uh yeah you know she's she's sweet she's a vegetarian she is insane she's good she wants to be a friend of the world. She wants to love everyone and everything that is included in the world. Even aliens. And vampires. Um, and the story between them two basically is that their insanity is a genetic thing. Um, and it was kind of, you know, it's, it's just with them. And they take, they both took, even though they're twins, they're both polar opposites. They both took a different standpoint on their, you know, this is who I am. I'm, like, never going to be not mental kind of look, they, they um kind of point of their life. Like, they both took a different look on it. So, Aurora was like, well, if I'm going to be mental, I might as well be an arsehole. Because then people won't take advantage of me, you know. Like, I'm just going to be a dick, and I'm just going to use this to my advantage and get what I want out of people, because if I don't, they'll do the same to me. You know, she's kind of taken the aggressive standpoint on, if I'm this way anyway, I might as well make the best of the situation in an evil way. <laughs> and then, Fallen Angel here, I might change her name to Angel Moonbeam, actually. Just because it made more sense when I wasn't playing it, like for other people but now that I'm playing it like online in a v video that has a point I'm going to change her name to Angel Moonbeam so Angel here <laughs> um, she took a completely different standpoint she was like you know what I'm not going to let this define me you know just because I'm insane and I'm always going to be insane doesn't mean I can't try my hardest to be the best person I can be in spite of that 
So they both took very different outlooks and therefore became two very different personalities. But because they're twin sisters, they're all they've got in the world, especially now they're in an asylum. You know, they're, they're all each other has got. So they still love each other, even though they don't agree with the way that each other act. They kind of just, you know, turn a turn a blind eye and just pretend that, you know, just try and keep the peace because they they love each other. They're sisters. They have a bond that can never be broken. And, you know, they just, they try and see past their extreme differences <laughs> and just kind of ignore them and just don't really talk to each other about them that much so that they don't you know have an argument because it's better to in their way in their sort of from their standpoint it's better to just ignore the things that they don't agree with rather than constantly argue um because you know you don't want to lose your only sister it's horrible it's not good you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to piss off your sister Trust me, you do not want to piss off your sister, although mine isn't a twin, she's older. But, <laughs> even more reason you don't want to piss her off. Um, <laughs> she gonna whoop your ass. Especially if she pisses off Aurora. I mean, fucking hell, she would she would definitely whoop her ass. Um, but yeah, so she's she's got the kind of, the hippie yoga instructor kind of vibe, and she's got the Bond villain kind of vibe. Um... And then lastly, finally, it's taken me 20 minutes to go through my sims. So I literally think I'm just going to be able to do this in a house tour. And then the next episode is when the fun's going to start, I think. Um, so lastly, we have Kevin Broster. So he is a bodybuilder. He's active. He's a dance machine. Obviously, he's insane. So his story, <clears throat> as you might be able to tell... He was bullied, oh, you probably won't be able to tell, but he was bullied for being a chubby nerd <coughs> growing up. So he decided that the best way to deal with this situation was by working out. And then people wouldn't tease him anymore because if they did, he would whoop their ass. So, um, yeah, but some of his, he's tried to kind of disguise his nerdiness and keep his nerdiness at bay and in private because <clears throat> he doesn't it exercising and getting like buff and you know he beat up a few people and sorry I really need some drink he beat up a few people and there were a couple of close calls where he beat them up a bit too much and you know There, there was a couple of a couple of very aggressive fights and he saw the person he was becoming he didn't like it so he's trying to be more chill um he's trying to like disguise his nerdiness so he doesn't get teased about it but it, it slips through sometimes it slips through like this top it slips through because there's marvel on his top I think that's the only... Is that the only one that's nerdy? Yeah, no, that is the only nerdy one. Yeah, so, you know, when he's just lounging around the house, he'll let his nerd slip out a bit. But for the rest of it, he's mostly sporty and, you know active so that is all of my sims and all of their backstories now i just have oh also while this is loading one of the other aspirations that i think i might go for um it might be the third one i do is i want to do the romantic one the soulmate one because I kind of want my sim to get with the vampire sim. And then they can start like a good vampire family together. That's kind of my hope.
for what the end of this series, like, what this series will end on. It's like, them two will, like, find each other and, you know, I mean, obviously they're, they're, they're living together the entire time, but you know what I mean. Find each other in a romantic way and they'll, you know, fall in love and that's, I'm hoping that's how the series will end. Whether he will last long enough for that to be how the series ends is another fucking matter. I have no idea. <laughs> Um, but I'm hoping that's how it's going to end, because I just, I just, I'm a romantic and I like the idea of that. <laughs> oh. It's really annoying that every time I type Sims into my phone, uh, every time I type sum into my phone, sorry, it comes up with sims so i try and like message someone saying streaming some sims and it comes up with streaming sim sims so irritating but yeah they're all there so started off with 500 because um like i said i'm doing the media media medium sorry i got distracted uh, <laughs> i'm doing the medium difficulty so Starting off with 500 the millions. Okay, so we have a perimeter wall, like all good asylums have. And I wanted it to, I wanted to make it kind of a an old gothic building, like kind of gothic Victorian. Pardon me. I used a few things from the vampire. Thing. like I think the, the door and the windows are both from the vampire add-on um, yeah so we've got the front oh, come on thank you <laughs> so we've got the front gate which will be locked once they've all gone in the house that will be locked at all times unless we need to leave the lock for anything um, we got a little pebble path, and then some stone steps, the decking, and then the inside of the house. So, we've got our little living room area here. I've just realised that's the wrong fucking way round. Um, hang on, let me just move this. Otherwise it's just going to bug me. Come on, little guy. There we go. Wait, hang on. Oh, fuck my life. It was the right way around the first time. It's just, I don't usually use that radio. I usually go for the expensive ones and the, you know, in the, you have to, you have to use the cheapest items. Um, so, or at least one of the cheapest, um, I made a few ex exceptions because of my OCD where they wouldn't fit into the colour scheme, so, sorry about that, <laughs> but yeah, so we've got fireplace, we've got a table, we've got a radio, which is our first skill building item, I'm only allowed five, and I'm only allowed seating for six, so, We've got the three seater sofa, three seater sofa there, and the radio. So that's my first three seats and my first skill building item. Then we've got our little bookcase on the wall that doesn't count as one of the five. Then uh, on medium, you're allowed uh, one toilet, one sink, and one shower slash bathtub. I got the cheapest shower and bath, like the one, the cheapest one that can do both. Um, just because um, I got cheapest toilet, cheapest sink, and then a couple of little mats because that those aren't things that really matter. They're just like decorations. Um, a mirror also doesn't count as a uh, skill item, so we've got a little mirror there. Um, and then in the kitchen, we have our cheapy cheap counters. We've got a dishwasher, uh, the cheapest coffee maker, the cheapest tea 
thing infuser machine cheapest microwave cheapest cooker which also doesn't count as a skill building item cheapest fridge cheapest bin and then into the study we have a computer because you're allowed a computer or a tv that also do not count as a skill building item so we still only got one so far so we got the cheapest computer you know nice desk cheapest desk chair i think that's the cheap yeah that was the cheapest desk chair then we've got our chess table as our second skill building item these are chairs three no four five and six at the computer desk and at the chess table so that's all of our seats so there's our second skill building item then our third one's the guitar and then we out here there's another small deck and we've got our easel which is our fourth skill building item and our punching bag which is our fifth and obviously that one is mostly for kevin and the easel is mostly for us um and the computer is just for everyone else Let's just do whatever the fuck you want um the guitar is just because i thought that would help um you know raise people's morales or whatever you know you can play some nice music depending on whatever your mood whatever mood you're in oh dear fuck my life <sighs> and then you know some nice old-fashioned chess because there's a vampire in the house <laughs> I'm allowed to stereo stereotype vampires. They're not real. Um, so then we've got radio as well. Just for some fun. And also a bit for Kevin. Because you know. He's a dance machine. He needs to dance. Um, so like. The punching bag. I could, I could lose that later. If I needed to replace. One of my skill building items. With another. But the radio, I really need to keep because of the, if he doesn't dance like every other day or three days or whatever, however long it is that um, he'll like get all cranky and shit. So that is the lower floor. And then we go up the extremely gothic staircase. And all of the bedrooms are exactly the same. And there is nothing over here in this corner. Um, but what I think I'm going to put in this corner is I'm just going to decorate it with um, the art that my sim creates. Um, you know, when we get to the stage where she's creating masterpieces and just like really pretty pictures, then I'm going to decorate that corner with art, I think. Um, and if we find some like really pretty gemstones and stuff, I might display them over here. So this is just kind of going to be like a little mini gallery. Um and then, yeah, all of our bedrooms, I've got these prison style beds in them, just basic um, bedside tables, a basic alarm clock and a basic lamp. And that is the entire house tour. The only thing left to show you is the roof that for some reason isn't showing up. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, that is our asylum. And uh, I'm going to take a screenshot of that because why the heck not? Um, but yeah, uh, that is that is pretty much it, to be honest with you. Um, that's that's it. That's 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 all I've got. Um, I'm going to get them introduced, I think. I know, I thought it was going to take, I mean, it kind of has taken me, like, all day to do this house. Well, I say all day. It's not taken me all day. It's taken me about, mm, four hours. Um, but I thought it was going to take considerably longer than that. Um, and I'm just going to save my game quickly before I actually get started properly. Yeah, I thought it was going to take considerably longer than that. And I'm... You know, I'm pretty happy that it didn't. I'm happy that I actually got time to film the intro to this series. And I'm just going to get them in the house and see if they do anything exciting. Um, but seeing as we are at 34 minutes, that will probably have to wait 
until the next episode because I'm trying to get my gaming videos shorter. I don't want, I'm trying not to do like hour long videos anymore. Um, but yeah, so that is that. I don't know when this video is even going to go up on YouTube, but um, I don't know. But yeah, so I will see you in my next stream, which if you're on Twitch, uh, my next video I mean, which if you're on Twitch, I'm probably going to stream again in a little bit. And if you're on YouTube, um, I, I don't know when it'll be. I don't know. But yeah, I will see you guys whenever I see you. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with Ilzoe. And I will see you next time. Take care and goodbye.